All right, we're back now. Um, last time we finished on floor nine, so we're moving on to floor 10 now. So let's just see what we're working with. So floor 10, I realized uh, when I first started off, I actually struggled to do it until I kind of figured it out. Um, on floor nine, you kind of just blast through it with any element you want and it really wouldn't matter. The only thing that really stopped you early on was probably like the fat guys with the shields. But floor 10, you actually have to uh, pay attention. So the ley line disorder, I don't think this ever changes. What it does is pretty much uh, it. The enemies, you'll see that they'll have some kind of uh, green circle under them. And what the green circle does is it heals them, it buffs them, and it makes them take less damage until you clear out all the other regular mobs first. And then, uh, so let's just look at, yeah, it says here it heals for 5% HP. So let's just look at each chamber first. So again, it's just really straightforward. Um, it's just reaching the timer. So for chamber one, the first half, what I struggled with the most is always going for the wrong target. So you'll always want to ignore the Abyss Mage. Um, ignore the melee guy, the Metaturl. He'll just come towards you as you kill the other one. So go for the archers. I would probably go for the 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 shamans as well too if possible so we'll see which one's closer to us i really dislike the dendro shaman it summons like this uh, wall and then combined with the nemo shaman it sucks you into the wall so you'll see i might happen to be where i get stuck a lot the the second half doesn't really matter so the first half again you're gonna deal with these fat guys so the fat guys you want to deal with them as soon as possible uh Again, most likely, if you don't have Shanling, just level up a Shanling and then you'll deal with these super fast. So I'll probably put Shanling and Bennett on that team. And then um, for the second part, I really, most of the time, I like going for the Skirmishers first because what happens is if you try to chase after the mages, they'll just keep teleporting over and over again, If especially if you don't have Freeze. Um, so we'll see what happens there. And then, okay, so... For floor 10, the biggest hurdle, aside from uh, killing the small guys first before killing the boss monsters, which I'll show you, the biggest hurdle is these Abyss Selectors and the Abyss Herald. So the problem with them is they pretty much exist purely just to waste your time. So with the Torrent one, so that's the water one, right? So you're going to want to have Freeze. So I'll probably, instead of bringing my full Geo team, I'll bring Kaya and Chi Chi. Uh, since especially if uh, dealing with fat guys, I'll probably have Shangling and uh, Bennett on this team. And then uh, for the Lightning guy, it really doesn't matter too much. So I normally Shangling and Bennett should be able to handle it. So let's just, let's just try it out and see how it goes. And I'll kind of go over it as I play through it, just like last time. So same thing for the first team. All right, since the second team I'm running the Geo this time, I won't have Zhang Li on there since I need the Cryo. I could just run Kaya, but I like having double Cryo just to have something different and we'll see how that works out. Okay, so then we'll run Albedo on there and then I'll probably go with this. All right, so let's just go in there and see how this goes. The buff does matter a lot. Um, normally, most of the time for the buffs in the chambers, I always choose the ones that are effective on the whole floor, especially for the first two chambers. So that way on the last chamber, you get all these buffs. Healing, I don't really feel like I ever need it. So we'll just go Elemental Mastery. All right, let's see. So again, you see that giant circle under that uh, big fat Metaturl thing? So he's most likely the boss monster and sometimes hard to pay attention to. I don't think this really changes. Most of the time it seems like uh, the affix is the same every time. And the, it's like, seems to be the same boss spawn every abyss so far that I've played for the past four months. So we'll clear that first. And then you see, okay, so I all, always ignore I always ignore the guy with the shield because it's just a waste of time to trying to break the shield when you could just be killing the other guys. So I typically go for him last since he probably chases after you and teleports after you anyways. So you go for the archers. 
And again, if you struggle on this floor, I realize uh, when I first started, I struggled on this floor as well too. It's most likely because you haven't ascended your characters, you haven't uh, leveled your talents. Leveling your talents is really, really, really important. And that's pretty much a majority of your damage. Um, so at minimum, you probably want to ascend them to 70. And then uh, you should have an easier time on this floor. Alright. So again, always... Ignore the the melee guys. Always ignore the melee guys because they're gonna come to you. So why chase after them if they're gonna chase after you instead? I bring Chi Chi and Kaya as a duo because it provides crit. I mean, I probably don't need it, but. It's a little bit harder to bring this guy down since uh, I think he has G over this. So I should still make the time. And one thing I also want to point out is if you don't make the timers and you end up redoing the abyss, one thing you could do is uh, if you just do one chamber and then you do really good on the first chamber. That way, if you do the second chamber, you can always just build a really, really good team for your second or third chamber and then shift your teams around, like uh, like flip your first team and second team around if it's weaker on certain chambers. So that way you could just redo the timers. Because if you three star, like let's say the first chamber already like this, it doesn't matter how slow you do the first chamber. So you could have like a really, really garbage team that doesn't fit the elements and just purely tackle the final chambers. I kind of go over that, I guess, like at the end. Uh, again, since this is a really good, um, but since we're still on chamber two, I don't really feel like I need the damage, so I can just go for elemental skill. Unless you're really struggling, then I guess you could go for burst damage and elemental skill. But I'd rather have like it for the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So same thing again, right? The fat guy. When you're first starting off, they probably won't die that fast. But again, it's because if you level your Shangling, and then you have a Shang Chu as well too, even if you don't have a Bennett, with the the vaporize, once you start gearing them up a little bit, you'll take them down super fast. But if you don't have fire, what happens is the fat guy will just keep shielding, and he'll keep healing himself, and he'll keep healing everyone else. You always go for him first because he just ends up healing, 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 healing. So you see the the bigger circle on the mage is because she's the boss of this. Which if you don't take down everyone else, then she's just gonna keep healing them. Compared to the first chamber running Zhang Li on this, I don't clear as fast because Chi Chi and Kai just really doesn't do much. But I really don't like running a uh, Goro to be honest. So that's why I rather I thought I kind of switch it up here. But it also kind of to show like you can kind of play whatever you want and you're not really like stuck on playing like whatever is meta or however, you know, forced to play certain characters. Alright, so we cleared that. So third floor, this is the Herald one. Okay, so this is the one that's really annoying. So third floor you kind of choose whatever it is. The 25% health thing you probably never need unless you're running like without any healers at all. So we'll probably go for... We don't need defense, so we'll just go for burst damage. Alright. So again, you'll kind of see what I mean by... Uh, Alright, so you go for the, sh the shamans first since the boss is the herald. I really, really hate these tornadoes. Right. So after that... But you'll kind of see what I mean by these guys just exist purely just to waste your time. So for their first health bar, they don't have uh, any kind of, you know, anything special going on with them. But then once you get your health down, you'll see 
they'll generate that shield, right? So if you don't have the right elements to bring down the shield, pretty much you'll just be wailing on this guy like forever, especially if you're going like physical damage. It's just like awful. It just takes like 10 million years. So that's why I'd rather split up John Lee from the Pure Geo team. Because when I run Pure Geo against the the Water Herald, it just takes forever to take down the shield. Again, same setup. Take down the shaman, uh, the shamans first. Because if you don't take down the shamans, they actually like cast a bunch of stuff, and I think they heal as well too. So before he has the shield, it's not too big of a deal, and I could just. Um, just take him down, he takes the full damage, but... So you'll see him cast the shield here. If you don't freeze him, you literally do no damage at all. It just takes forever. Okay. Yeah, you'll kind of see like, you know, this is taking a while, but since you finished, the, if you finish the previous floor fast, fast enough, then this doesn't really matter too much, so having a really, really good team on one of your teams kind of gives you a little bit more leeway. Alright, so we're done with floor 10, so that's kind of the end of this one and then we'll continue on to floor 11 with the next one but one thing before i finish that i want to go over is so back to what i said was if you struggle with certain floors what you could do is let's just say for example i struggled with this last chamber and the first two chambers i three starred and only get one star on this last one right so what you could do is build like let's say i need ice for this team to take down the this of this herald or i wanted to throw like shangling and ben on this team instead so what you could do is if you have stronger characters on the first or second team what you could do is it completely ignore the first and two chambers like the fat guys or whatever it is if you get zero stars it doesn't matter right for these um if you just completely ignore the elements on the first and two chambers so that way on the third floor, you could just put your best team forward to deal with whichever this floor requires. So that way, oh, if fire was good on the first floor on the first half, you don't have to worry about it anymore. So you just you could like switch out your fire team on your second half instead. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, so next we'll be doing floor eleven and twelve, which will be a lot harder. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll go over the strategy for those after. Thank you for watching and um, thanks for subscribes and everything, okay? Have a good day.